how to merge and duplicate PDF pages using a free tool. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP Low Content Books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today what I'm doing is basically a follower on from a previous video that I did. I showed you how to create an undated weekly planner in Canva. Now the issue with Canva is you can only go up to 100 pages and then you need to actually download those 100 pages as a print PDF and then merge them either using free tools or paid tools. Now you can shorten that by actually only creating the pages that you need with inside Canva, creating the PDF and then using this free tool to actually create duplicate pages. So this is what I created last time. But I did actually have a larger file with all the pages in. I could go up to 99 pages and then I needed to actually add some extra pages when I came back after I printed because I wanted to add some new notes and I needed to go up to 104 of these two pages. So actually 52 of that one and 52 of that one. So it took me to 117. So I added three extra ones to take me to 120 and I'll leave a link in in the description or on the right hand corner to see that video. So the issue was, could I actually shorten it by creating duplicate pages? Now I can do that with Adobe Acrobat, which is paid, but I wanted a free way of doing it. Now Book Vault is a paid for tool, but they do have some free things you can have without actually signing up or adding your email address or adding any credit card details. And it comes under this tab here, resources. And it is the interior PDF combiner pro. So you can actually, if you click on the interior pages here, you can actually choose different sorts of free templates that they give you as well to create in your books. And you can change the size and you can choose whether they bleed, but you can also upload your file and it'll take quite a while to do it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to download this because I'm the ones I want to duplicate are these and I want to duplicate just one of those, but I can create that. So I'm going to go download and I need it to be PDF and I want all pages. So I'm just going to click there and I'm going to download. that's downloaded and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to drop that file in. And then this sometimes takes a while to do. So I'll pause the video while it's doing that. Okay, we're back. That actually has done that and it gives you a little tick mark to show that it's uploaded. So now we go back to the interior and then we click on the plus mark and we can start adding all the files that we want to do. So as you can see, it is the files that we were using. So again, I click on the plus and then I can add each one of these. And I'll speed through this so you can actually see what I'm doing. And actually, I should have changed this. I should have gone bleed and change it down to 6.9 because that's the one I wanted. So I'm just making sure. And then this is where I'm going to come in and actually duplicate. So the pages that I want to be duplicating are these two. So I want that there and I want that there. And all you do is just click on the same one. Again, I'll speed through this because I want 104 of those.
Okay, now I just want to add my note pages. So I need to make sure I've got the right ones. Put them there. And then I'm at the last page. And now I've got bleed and six by nine. And you've got to make sure that your pop-up allows any downloads. So I'm just going to click here. So it can actually show me. It actually walks you through. So I'm going to click download. And there we are. It's actually downloading my file. So that is the file there. You can still duplicate your files in Canva, but they also take quite a while to duplicate them in Canva. They take quite a while to do in PowerPoint or Keynote. You can be quicker in Affinity Publisher if you use master slides and then you're not actually duplicating loads of pages. But it's like everything, you know, once you create things, it does take a bit of time to do the duplication. But there is more you can actually do with this and I want to quickly show you. So say you've still got this book here, but you only want one of these notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this page here. And I'm actually going to take the flower off. So if I just double click, it actually takes me back in. And then now I want to download, but this time I only want to download. I'm going to change it to print PDF. And I only want to download the first page and the last page. And I'm going to download that. And this one I'm going to now upload to Bookbub. So again, I go upload and grab that and upload that. And then I should get a tick. So we'll wait for it. There's the tick. And then what I want to do is change that to six by nine bleed. And here I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to add. And instead of just one, I want to change that to 119 and I'm going to add that one and there we go. It's duplicated all the exact same page for me. So, yep, and I've got it as bleed. And again, make sure that your pop ups can be allowed and then click download. And there we go. So it's now created me a new notebook exactly what I wanted so that is how powerful it is to actually quickly create notebooks as well so if you created your own individual note pages without keep duplicating you can use the book book bolt duplicator but I hope this video helped and if it did don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the little b above my head to subscribe and while you're here check out my two previous videos on canva on creating notebooks and on creating that undated weekly planner